Alright, here's a video of a water fountain for the cat. And um, there's not much to say to it, but it's a water fountain. But uh, I did a video on this, on their full size one. I, I bought one in 2015 and it's still working. And I did a video in 2017 that I post about the full size one. But I picked up this mini one because it's fairly cheap. It's like $21 or so. So I want to do a quick unboxing to show you um, the, pretty much the same concept of the, of the fountain. This one is their 1.5 liter and the other one like three liter so this one is much shorter so let's take a look it's, it has their signature flower again and i didn't use it in the past but because this is so sh i guess the height is short i'm probably i'm probably going to use it and try it out and then um the gentle flow and the bubbling at the top and this has the stream so this is their box packaging it's pretty pretty simple Instruction. Oh, okay, maybe to register. Manual. Man, this thing that's it. That's pretty... I have always said it's pretty cute. It's pretty small. I like it. Oh, this is a much, much smaller pump. USB now. The old one is a bigger, bulkier adapter, so now it's USB. And this is the filter media now. It's much smaller. It'll go into here like this. It'll slide into this channel here. You see, there's a channel groove here. It goes in here like this. Um, I did pick up extra. I can put the part number in the description if you guys like. I'm not sure if we can make our own and save some money on that part. But it will look something like this. Smaller flower. Well, I want to point out some close detail of the uh, pump. It have a plus here and a minus that you can uh, slide and close. I believe this will do the intake of the water flow. If you want the stream to be more gentle or more fast, I think you can adjust it. I'll test it out in a bit right now. Uh, because it's USB, a quick test with a power um, pump here. I can hear it. So you can power by a power bank. Uh, oh yes, let me point out one more thing. The lid have three notches, one, two, and three. So the one without the notch is the back, because you can see inside the container, you will have these uh, these uh, clip or notches. So that's how it faces. So when you're looking at it, you're looking at it, you will see that little line in the back, the little slit. That would let you know when the, that's the max fill line right there. I finished washing this with soap and everything, but just want to demo to you. I'll dump this water back out because I've been playing with it. But um, the carbon filter, after you finish washing it, um, you will remember that the black is facing the back or facing the pump. It goes in here like so. And um, I messed with the uh, that plus and minus switches. It does control the, the flow rate, how fast the water pump. So right now I left it on plus all the way. So going like this, um, the three notches faces uh, the front. And I'm gonna demo here. I'm gonna power with a battery power bank here. So let me plug it in. You can hear how quiet it is too. And this is on plus. You can slow it down if you like. Okay, I'm going to demo it with how I look with this. It's pretty quiet. Okay, I'm going to put this piece in. Okay. Once you snap it in, it's, it locks in here. You will need a screwdriver in order to take it out. So now let's take a look. Pretty quiet. I like it. Okay, let me uh, stop it. <laughs> That's it. That's this is a demo. Show you how this thing works. 
I'll put a link in description if you guys are interested. So the way this one works is the hole is pretty big. I would think if we can fill this with something, maybe it catches, it will prevent more stuff from getting down here to um, prolong that filter. All right, and now to clean up. The cleanup, when you clean this, make sure that you remember to clean out the pump too. In my previous video, um, that's something that I uh, lack the experience of, but now owning one for a while now, and was pointed out by my viewers that um, <laughs> if you remember to clean out your pump, because this is where mow and mildew can grow up, and you don't want that for your cat. The, every pump, there's a little notch here. You can see it right here, there's a notch. You would just pull on it, it comes off. And then this piece, you pull on it, it comes out. And then this piece will come out too. You just pull on it. Uh, maybe, maybe it's magnetic by the way. That's why it's pulling against you. <laughs> I don't have a good grip and it's wet right now, but you get it. See, the magnet is pulling it back in. There, Ooh, there you go. See, it's a magnet. So um, I guess that's how it spin like pretty much brushless, I guess. And you make sure you clean all that out and everything, and then go back in. See, it's how it's sucked back in automatically. And put your cap back on. And put this back on. There you go. Make sure it's dry, and then you can stuck it back. You can stick it back down here like this. Oh, there, oh yeah, this you can take out this too. So pretty much any part that's removable, take it out, clean it, put the wire back in, and that's it. Remember to replace your filter. I'll put the description, you know, maintaining this for your cat, that's the idea. We, we love the cat, that's why we want to, um, that's why we bought the water fountain, so might as well make sure we clean it. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.